Have you ever wondered about the ominous figure that haunts the digital realm? An entity as tall as a tree, as thin as a reed, with a face as blank as a void? This is the narrative of the Slender Man, a terrifying figure that evolved from the depths of internet culture, becoming a modern-day nightmare that seeped into our collective subconscious. A creation born in the year 2009, the Slender Man was initially just the fruit of a vivid imagination, emerging from the depths of a virtual community discussion. Our story begins with a user named Victor Surge on the website, Something Awful. Victor Surge, better known by his real-life identity, Eric Knudsen, was the mastermind behind the creation of this eerie entity. Initially, it was a mere digital art experiment, a creative endeavor that took a life of its own. The Slender Man, as depicted by Knudsen, was a tall and skinny silhouette, dressed in a formal suit, devoid of any facial features. This featureless face added to its mystique and terror, making it even more unsettling. The Slender Man wasn't just a digital specter. It was said to possess long, spindly arms, some of which were depicted with tentacles, adding an extra layer of creepiness. The Slender Man was not a benign figure. It was associated with malevolent actions such as stalking, abducting, and causing intense psychological trauma, with children often being its preferred victims. This digital cryptid, born from imagination, managed to leave a profound impact on our collective fears. With long, spindly arms, some even adorned with tentacles, the Slender Man was said to stalk, abduct, and traumatize people, particularly children. But as with all things on the internet, the Slender Man quickly took a life of its own. What began as a simple, harmless internet meme started to evolve into a more sinister entity. The Slender Man, eerily thin, faceless, with tentacle-like limbs, began to emerge from the depths of the internet. Almost overnight he became an uninvited guest, invading our digital space. He made his ominous debut in an online forum as a mere figment of a user's imagination. Yet, he began to sprout roots and seep into the digital consciousness of netizens. Suddenly, he was everywhere. He lurked in the background of otherwise ordinary photos, a spectral figure casting a long, ominous shadow. He was no longer a figment of imagination but a specter of dread, a symbol of terror that transcended the virtual world. As his presence grew, so did stories of his eerie encounters. These tales began to flood communities, each one seemingly more chilling than the last. It was as if he had unlocked a Pandora's box of digital horror, the likes of which had never been seen before. The Slender Man was no longer a simple internet meme. He had become an urban legend, a digital boogeyman that sent shivers down the spines of those brave enough to research him. His stories, once contained within the confines of the World Wide Web, began to spill into the real world. They seeped into our consciousness, leaving an indelible mark that was as profound as it was terrifying. The Slender Man had made the transition from the pixels of our digital screens to whispered tales around campfires and sleepovers. He began to personify our deepest, darkest fears. He wasn't just an urban legend, he had become a universal embodiment of terror. His stories were not confined to the online world. They slipped into our reality, leaving a mark that was as profound as it was terrifying. In the year 2014, a chilling incident occurred in the heartland of Wisconsin, a state known for its cheese and football, not for its connections to the uncanny. This particular event would dramatically blur the well-established line between fiction and reality, sending shockwaves through the community and beyond. It was a day like any other, the sun shining brightly, not hinting at the darkness lurking beneath. This unfolding tale revolved around three girls, all of whom were merely 12 years of age. They were the best of friends, having shared numerous experiences together, from birthday parties to sleepovers. However, their innocence was soon to be shattered. Two among them, driven by a dark and twisted obsession, devised a plan of horrifying proportions. This plan was not rooted in the premises of their usual childhood games, but in the terrifying realm of urban legends. Their focus was the enigmatic entity known as the Slender Man, a figure of ominous lore that fascinated and terrified them in equal measure. The Slender Man, often portrayed as a tall and faceless being, had become an object of their misguided reverence. They believed that to appease this entity, a sacrifice was required, a notion that led to a tragic consequence. The unsuspecting third friend was led into the dense woods, a setting more suited for a horror movie than a child's playdate. There, she was brutally stabbed multiple times, her screams echoing through the silent forest. 
The girls claim they committed this act in an attempt to please the ominous slender man, their minds clouded by the eerie tales of this urban legend. The victim fortunately survived this horrifying ordeal and was found bruised and battered but alive. The incident however served as a chilling reminder of the power urban legends hold over susceptible minds. It underscored the importance of fostering critical thinking in children, to distinguish reality from the terrifying tales spun by the human imagination. The Slender Man, while not the oldest, is undeniably one of the most chilling urban legends of our time. Emerging from the shadows of internet lore, his presence has managed to puncture our modern zeitgeist, instilling a sense of pervasive dread that resonates with many. Often depicted as a tall, thin figure with a face devoid of features, his contemporary portrayal is the result of an intricate web of stories that have been spun for over a decade. The Slender Man, though fictional, has been linked with real-world events, further fueling fear and intrigue surrounding his story. This connection with reality is what makes him more than just a simple internet meme. It has transformed him into a creature that haunts our collective consciousness. Yet, it's important to keep in mind that urban legends, no matter how deeply unsettling they may be, are nothing more than captivating narratives. These stories have a certain allure, a magnetic pull that draws us in making us willing participants in their terrifying dance. They blur the line between the real and the imagined, turning ordinary people into willing believers. They create a world where the impossible doesn't just seem possible, it feels imminent. The Slender Man's evolution from an innocuous internet meme to a feared urban legend is a powerful testament to our collective storytelling abilities. His tale, in all its terrifying glory, underscores the profound influence stories have on our world perception. His narrative serves as an unnerving symbol of the fine line that separates fiction from reality, and the power that stories have to shape and sometimes even shatter perceptions. In the end, the Slender Man is a reflection of our fears, a testament to the power of the internet, and a symbol of the blurred line between reality and fiction. It stands as the embodiment of the collective terror that lurks within the crevices of our subconscious minds, a phantom of the digital world that we have created. This specter is not just a simple product of our collective imagination, but rather an evolutionary creation that feeds on our deepest, darkest fears and anxieties. In the realm of cyberspace, where reality often becomes indistinguishable from deception, the Slender Man personifies our dread of the unknown and the unseen. The internet is a vast, labyrinthine expanse that mirrors the human psyche, teeming with stories, ideas, and myths that shape our perception of the world. Within this nebulous framework the Slender Man thrives, a creature born from the depths of our shared fears and the cryptic nature of the online. It is a testament to the power of the internet, a monument to the potency and reach of digital storytelling. With the advent of new technologies and platforms, Stories can now be shared and perpetuated on an unprecedented scale, giving rise to phenomena like the Slender Man that blur the line between reality and fiction. The Slender Man is a symbol, a symbol of our simultaneous fascination and fear of the unknown. It forces us to confront our deepest anxieties, to question the reliability of our perceptions and to grapple with the elusive nature of truth in the digital age. It is a manifestation of our collective fears, our shared uncertainties and our common humanity. As we navigate the digital wilderness, let us remember to tread carefully, for who knows what other legends may be lurking in the shadows. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button for more creepy urban legend tales. Also comment below on what you thought of the video.